Hey, congratulations. If you're watching this video, it must mean that you're thinking about taking a college class at Sierra. That's really exciting. But of course, as it's a co college class, there's a number of enrollment steps. This short webinar is going to explain the process of academic enrichment at Sierra College. So the basics. Well, hopefully you've already applied to the college. Spring applications are open now and our web link is on our website. If you're currently enrolled in a class for Sierra for this semester, you'll not need to apply to, a, to the college again for the next semester. You will still need to do the electronic permission form and we'll talk a little bit about that later. But if you have yet to apply, please stop the video and go to that website and fill out your application. Once you apply to the college, you receive a welcome email to set up your MySierra account. Within that welcome email is a college email address and username. That welcome email also has the one, two, three steps to set up your MySierra account. You get to choose your own password of choice. If you've not already set up your MySierra, once again, please stop this video, find that welcome email, follow the instructions and set up your MySierra account. This webinar is now gonna focus for the next four or five minutes on completing step three, your electronic permission form. You'll find the link to that permission form on our website. So let's go to the website now and see what that looks like. So if you go under our admissions area to college and high school, scroll down to our academic enrichment program, you'll see there's a whole section about getting started so as I discussed, apply to the college, set up your MySierra account. Obviously, importantly, check in with your high school counselor up there at number one. And then there's that academic enrichment permission form. So what does it look like? Well, you need to log in with your username and password for your MySierra. Once you log in, you'll come to a page that you'll then need to fill out. It'll already have some information about yourself, your student name, your email address, and your college ID. You will need to include your date of birth, which you will need to confirm. You'll need to confirm your high school. This form is for Promise High School students only. So those are all the Promise schools within Placer and Nevada County. If you are attending a school that's not listed, you're an other high school, you then need to click on this PDF and complete the paper academic enrichment form and send to your parents. But let's assume that you go to one of these local high schools. So let's just choose Antelope. Your grade level, let's just say you're in grade 11 and you're gonna be graduating and you need to confirm that as well. You need to put in your parents' information and it's important at this point to correctly type in their email address. That might be an obvious point, but your parent is gonna be sent an email that will allow them to access this form to sign it. Obviously you choose the semester you're looking to register for classes and then you've got four boxes here where you can put in the classes that you're thinking about taking. I would recommend putting in as many classes as you're thinking about, mainly because you don't know at this point if they're gonna be full when you come to register and give yourself some options. Obviously you can just put in one class if you're only thinking about one and just because you put a class down does not mean you have to enroll in that class. So that's important to note. So for example, I've just put down three, four. Some of these classes like Spanish two, math, have prerequisite requirements, like classes you need to have been taking in high school. So here, this button, choose file, you can upload an unofficial transcript. Unofficial transcripts are fine. You can take a picture of the transcript um, or a PDF. Also, your counselor later on can attach a transcript as well. If you prefer that they do it, obviously let your counselor know. But once you've chosen your classes that you're thinking about, you leave the counselor section blank, you click on next, it takes you into the back of the form, lots of information about being an academic enrichment student. You read all that good stuff, you click on the form, you, put, you type your name in, and you sign the form. So there you go, you've signed the form, and then you submit that form. And then this tells you about the next steps. So what does happen next? Well, let's find out. So once you submit the form as the student, your parent is now gonna get an email 
to that address that you provided for them. So your parent or guardian will get an email based on the email you provided. Once your parent fills the form, then it gets sent to your counsellor. They can sign it. They can upload a transcript as well, an unofficial transcript, and then it gets sent to Sierra College. Then we take about three to five business days to approve that process. Then we'll send you an email to your My Sierra email account, letting you know it's been approved and also telling you about registration times. Obviously, check out our Ready for Reg page. The link is here, and I'll talk more about that in a minute, because you actually now need to register yourself in the class. Just by putting it on the form does not register you in the class. You need to go into your My Sierra and do that. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. But first things first, what does your parent need to do? Well, they get an email. They'll receive an email, and they'll need to create an account to sign the form. If you have recently taken a dual enrollment class through your local high school and your parent already has an account, they'll just log in with their username and password. Otherwise, if it's the first time for both of you using this system, you'll need to, you've already created your account, they'll need to create an account and it will take them two to three minutes. So what does that look like? Well, firstly, this is the email that they'll get sent. It'll have Sierra College Academic Enrichment Approval in the subject line. The sender will be NG Web Solutions and there'll be a link in this email at the bottom that your parent needs to click. And it will say, complete your section of the form. When they click on that, it takes them to this page and they do not log in with your information. Just to be very clear, they need to create their own account. So if they've never used this system, they will click on that, create a new account. Obviously, if they do have an account, they'll just use that to log in. But if it's the first time, they'll click the create new account and it takes them to this page. This is an account page that they get to fill out. It'll take them a couple of minutes. They get to choose a username. They get to choose a password. They'll get to confirm their first name, their last name. They'll confirm their email, set up a secret question, and then they'll click on the link at the bottom to create an account. Once they do that and create that account, they get sent another email to their email address that they provided that says activate your account. They click on that and then it takes them to this where they'll log in with that username and password that they just created. And once they've done all that fun stuff, it will take them back to this form, the form that you've just filled out as a student. But now your parent needs to sign it. So what does that look like? Well, let's go into a live form just so I can show what that would what would happen. So I'm just going to log in. what your parent will do they'll log in with the account they created they'll look at all the information they'll see the classes that you've indicated you're interested in taking the counseling area stays blank they click on next all that good stuff about being an academic enrichment student is listed here which they'll need to read your signature will already be there they will then sign it as your parent they'll put obviously their name in there they'll sign it and then they'll hit submit and at that point You've completed your part of the form. They've completed their part of the form. It then gets sent electronically to the counselor, gets routed to them. So once all the required signatures are received, the counselor gets it, sends it in. You, as a student, will be sent a registration time. And this may take up to five business days. And it will be sent to your MySierra email address. Then you'll get to register for classes. You'll use your MySierra, you'll go through the registration and classes, the add drop withdraw section. If you need any registration assistance, this website is great. Lots of videos about adding onto wait lists, registering for classes. You just scroll down and you'll see all those good videos there. If you have any questions about this whole process, you can email enrollment services at sierracollege.edu. During the working hours on our website, sierracollege.edu, we have live chat where you can chat some questions that you may have about this process. Also, our Promise School contacts, these five enrollment specialists listed here, all have office hours and are contacts for individual schools. So if you're from Antelope, for example, talk to Paula. If you're from Deloro, talk to Matt. Okay, guys, I hope you found that useful. If you've got any other questions, you know where to find us. Thanks, bye now.